on the retro show this month. Old news. Oh. Peter noticed. <gasps> What's that? Retro memes? That's right. Retro memes. Oh, <laughs> Unboxings. Oh. <laughs> SD card. Your homebrew projects. And your nostalgic photos. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the retro, retro show. show. No, this isn't heaven. This is episode 27. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Jiptippers. Welcome to the, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. We've got loads of fun stuff coming up. But if you watched last month, you'll remember we saw Basil watching Basil watching The Retro Show. <laughs> where he went into double time. And we wondered what would happen if we showed Basil watching Basil watching Basil. Right. And this is what happened. Oh, your homebrews, PlayStation Hot Tub. And your nostalgic photos. Welcome to the Retro Show. show. <laughs> Basil, you're a genius. When he walked up to the door, I was like, is he going to open the door? Yeah, he's got opposable thumbs. She's showing you hers as You've well. You've got your dew claws. Yeah. Luckily, she has not learned how to open doors yet. She did remember when she was a puppy, she would do it early on. Yes, but like, she forgot. She has unlearned what she has learned. <laughs> Well, as for you, I hope you don't unlearn the rest of this show because you're about to learn a whole load of fun. From Basil watching Basil watching Basil watching the retro show to use watching old news in that nostalgic hues. This is old news. Nah, that's old news. Now, did you ever watch The Brady Bunch? Yes. Okay. I did too. Not through choice. I guess it was choice. I was about six or seven. My sisters loved it. So it's, it's I think, my earliest TV memory. Mm. And did you see this? The iconic Brady Bunch home just hit the market yesterday after being meticulously rebuilt on an HDTV show. It's reportedly now the second most photographed home in the US after the White House. So let's see how well they did on that renovation. I immediately felt like I was back on stage five at Paramount and I was Paramount. really on our set. Entryway and living room looked like just six months ago. Here's Do you remember any of it? Oh yeah. Apparently they even 3D printed this horse statue to match the original. Of course they have the pistachio and orange kitchen. Mm. They even found all the same vintage kitchen items to put on the counters. I think Did this was more. the show with the Property Brothers and Zoe Deschanel. So she's good luck dating, to her. She's dating one of the Property Brothers. Oh, I can guess which one. Um, <laughs> moving on. This is, oh. look how cool this is. This is the Evercade VS. It's a special edition of the Evercade Arcade, which is designed to play retro cartridges. Comes with Duke Nukem 1, 2, and 3D. I just love the design of that. That's cool. I think there's only a thousand or something being made or sold, so good luck finding one. This is the original Arcade. Oh, I was going to ask because I'm not familiar with that. Like... It, it's pretty, I would love to have one actually here and play with it. Um, maybe we'll, we'll buy one, but Evercade, uh, they license everything officially, so it's not one of those knockoffs little unlicensed games. It's all official stuff put onto new retro styled cartridges. Good job, Evercade. That's very cool. Yeah. Hello. Are you, you're, what? Oh yeah, no, good point. Um, <laughs> with that said. <laughs> she says, she said, daddy, stop it. You're acting weird. She gets easily embarrassed. Yeah, but that was the brand new Motorola Razr Plus that has just come out. Did you um, have a Razr? No, I never had a Razr. I had an, an Ericsson Flip. Um, in fact, I've got an episode coming up where I look through a lot of the old phones. I've been rebuying them on eBay, mm -hmm. Fleabay. Uh, way in the distance there, you can see a Motorola uh, MR something from Orange. Um, but I actually bought a whole box of dummy handsets. So the screens will look like they're on, but they're not. And for yeah. the Americans, Orange is a uh, telephone, like an online company like AT&T and, and uh, T-Mobile. You're welcome. Thank you for that explanation. Um, and the Razer Plus, as you saw, comes with the retro mode, same as the previous one. So you can emulate the old retro Razer. I probably would never take it out of that mode. Don't know about you. No. Well, unless I was watching, you know, 
a video or something. That's the thing. That's the tricky thing. And I'm going to explore that in my bid, but I, I want to go back to the simpler times. I do like the mod cons as well. So it's a very tricky balance. Uh, we did try to get a Razor Plus from Motorola, but they wouldn't send us one. So <laughs> thanks guys. Uh, next up. This is the Retro 67, Chargeek's newest addition to its charger lineup that look like old school Macintoshes. What's new with the 67, outside of the fact that it's significantly bigger, is it now has a functioning display. Not only capable of showing you this cool little matrix animation, but it also tells you how fast your devices are charging. Up top, there are now three USB ports instead of just one, so you can charge your Apple Watch, your iPhone, and your MacBook like all at the same time. Wilson. Uh, it reminds me of this. This is an Apple Watch charging stand and uh, you can go like so. If you configure it accordingly, it'll actually come on with a little yellow clock there as well. Um, <laughs> instead, you've got to put in your password. I'll let you do that. Well, it's not charging, so. Yeah, that's true. You can slot the little white Apple charger in the back there and then it will do what it's told. Um, is that all it takes? <laughs> that's all it takes. So simple. Next up. Uh, hundreds of you sent incredible uh, comments below the last video where we announced our new mini product. Yes. It's not a mini Atari 400. It's a mini Fractic. <laughs> Baby Fractic is still on the way, uh, still in the Fractory. Yes. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we also got some wonderful donations <laughs> to the Baby Gift Registry on throne.com. We'll put the link again in the description. Uh, if you want to make a little difference in Baby Fractic's life. And uh, yeah, um, on that tangent, Peter Ridge wrote in from New Zealand, like so many of you did, and he congratulated us. And he said that we're going to be in for a ride full of wonderful TV shows. Things like Octonauts, which is apparently a lesser known one. But if you study the uh, accompanying storybook, oh. Peter noticed <gasps> this. So look, it is Octo OS 8, obviously, yeah. obviously an 8-bit OS. And there's a Commodore 1541. Uh, and if you look really close, it actually says com hyphen. Adore. Com adore. Uh, possibly chicken lips might have been equally, <laughs> equally funny there. But well spotted, Peter, and we love that. Obviously a Commodore 64 fan working <laughs> on Octonauts. That's so um, funny. If it's you, please identify yourself in the comments below. Uh, she... <laughs> She wants to be close to the baby. Oh, that's very sweet. Yes. Don't we all? But not, it's not time yet. No. A couple of months to go. Oh, okay. Hey, where are you going? Okay. Uh, and with her going off, it's time for us to go off. But you are not going to believe what's coming up and what Arnold Schwarzenegger's been up to in I See What You Mean. I'm going to see what he memes once I get this out of my eye. <laughs> You'll see what she memes. <laughs> And first up. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun. Open your eyes. I can't. I literally can't watch it. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my boobs away. Is it boobs? My loneliness. Burpy. Excellent. Brian Monarch doing it again there with um, AI Arnold Schwarzenegger. Or is it Whitney hey, Houston or Houston? Houston. Houston. We definitely have a problem here. Next up, when we looked at Octonauts for the Commodore 64, do you see something here in the Mandalorian? Man in DeLorean. When you see it, you can't unsee it. Is it the keyboard? Yeah. Yeah. What have we here? Is that it? We don't actually have a traditional No, that's why I was like, right where did you go? But that is a bread bin Commodore yeah. 64. Got the four brown function keys, uh, and then two of the remaining keys that are on the keyboard, and then they've they took carved out the, out the rest. And yeah, they some, did. Put some fun things there. So yet again, a Commodore 64 fan uh, on Mandalorian. Yeah, you're looking too, I know. I will say, just from like being on set, I don't know if you know, but I was on anyway. I don't know if you know. From, I don't know if you know, but I was also on Star Wars. As I was saying, when I was on set for The Mandalorian, the a lot of the prop department are people of your generation. Oh, thirties. Yeah. Well, they were once. Nineteen thirties. <laughs> but no, they're like 
oftentimes, like, yes, there's like women in the department, but every time you look over the prop department, the art department, they're just a bunch of like cool dudes with their little like tape belts and, you know. And just... it also even, even looks like he's got cartridges yeah. over here. Well, he um, does, but not. <laughs> She's laughing. But you make a good point. They are of a certain generation, yeah. the prop guys. Again, identify yourself in the comments if you're responsible for this glorious monstrosity. Good stuff. Well, from a galaxy far, far away to... Me. A here. galaxy much nearer. <laughs> she was in Star Wars, Dina. Um, so you did a video very recently about the clear cranes. I did. Uh, the transparent tech. What do we call it? There was another T. Trend. The <laughs> transparent tech <laughs> trend. Yeah. Uh, and on that note, and in your honor, here is a I see what you meme meme for you. Let me be clear. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> thought you'd like that. I did. That was that was good. Oh. And something Puppy Fractic likes is eating puppuccino. Self-service here. Straight from the bottom of the cup. <laughs> but yeah, I found that if we just insert it on her nose, she can just eat it. She's got to move. She's back. got to move backwards, of course. Um, and off she goes, and she backed down the hill for one mile <laughs> until she was finished. Next up. Ooh. <laughs> it's a great song. I don't know anything about that song, but it's probably one of the most recognizable pieces of music. Yeah. No, you can't do pieces of music. You can do it in the garden. What's another puppuccino? <laughs> do you see this? Disney Plus, they changed the ending of Raiders. Oh, yeah? Yeah, look. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> uh, for anyone who doesn't get the reference, that is... Donald Trump's bathroom at the Mar-a-Lago. His top secret holding facility oh. for his... For, um, for our nuclear, America's nuclear secrets. Yeah. Or as he would say, nuclear. Well, Bush said nu nu nuclear. <laughs> I did it wrong. Or as, they, or as he would say, nuclear. Wait, what is it? <laughs> George W. used to say nu nu nuclear. 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 Yeah. But he would say... A nuclear. If, apparently, as I would say, nuclear. Uh, finally, almost. Oh no, in the middle of our street. In the middle of the 485. Uh, total madness. Though. Well, just say, okay, so that is the I-485, but in America, we, we would call it the 485. California specifically, we call it the 101, the 405, but everywhere else it's I-485. To be fair, we say the M4 and the M25. Yeah. Uh, next. Yesterday More AI here. Yeah? Was two days before tomorrow. <laughs> and the day after two days ago. Oh, I'm confused by yesterday. Seven. There I ruined it again. There. That was good. With AI Paul McCartney. Paul McKayetney. Kayetney. Next. Paul McFakeney. Another one for you. Here is the goal. Back with the face of the jam slide and I bet that I don't waste time. You're not a golden retriever, no. You're not a golden girl. Finally, look at this. This is a really interesting use of AI here, of course. In the movie, during the scene, Martin McFly's photo of his brother and sister slowly start to disappear. Yeah. And using Photoshop Beta's new generative AI, you can basically achieve the same effect. He's in trouble now, thanks to Photoshop. <laughs> the tension of the Photoshop bar. There he goes. And he's gone. But of course you can... Excuse me. Control Alt Z to undo. <laughs> well, you'd have to do it three times, but you know, that's just yeah. me. And here comes a big smooch. Love it. Good job, Valerio Arani, and good job, Photoshop. 
I've but how come you left that kiss in you, and you cut me out talking about Star Wars? Rude. That <laughs> <laughs> is it for I See What You Meme. Next up. Unboxing? Yeah. <laughs> she punching you. I'm sorry. Oh no, indeed, because it is time for, I should really say, oh yes, it's time for another <laughs> Harley Fractic visit to the Retro Recipe Studio. I love coming here, buddy. It's my favorite restaurant. Don't worry, Kit has gone PCB way. To get PCB starting at the spy stuff. Here, buddy, you need to order drinks. Do very boring a minute later. So, who gets the check? Here you go, sir. I didn't need to eat. Why do I have to pay? I hope they take credit cards. See you soon. Ah, oh, Harley Fretic and Bunny at breakfast. Thank you, guys. I love that. Um, Denny's is my favorite restaurant. I think that's where they were. I don't think it was. Ah, uh, where was it? <laughs> Just another diner. Oh, there's there's no no diner as good as Denny's. Well, apart from Johnny Rockets. If you haven't been to America, I apologize for the last 10 seconds. There's a Denny's in Manchester? That's true, actually. Oh, Bristol? But they, yeah, they've started opening Denny's in the UK. So if you're from the UK, I unapologize for the last 40 seconds of our lives. If you do submit some donations to the Retro Show, you will get an RR badge, as you just saw demonstrated and modeled Maybe by with Bunny. Some dog hair. <laughs> it actually might have some genuine puppy fractic dog hair. We'll send that out to you within 30 days of your episode airing, and it gets you free entry to retro computer museums all around the world. Yes. There's a Select four, ones. There's about three in each country, but still, yeah, that's our way of giving back and helping generate and continue interest in old computers out there. And with that done, just have to get rid of the TV. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, you helped. <laughs> You did helpings. Uh, and we've got our special unboxing camera here. Say, say, hello. Hello, that's you there. It's very bright, huh? You can see into her soul and her nose. That's apparently up a, that was a bit of her brain, I think. <laughs> Is this anyway. a piece of your brain? Is this a piece of your brain? <laughs> a classic. She likes this, but there's nothing on the desk, so. Would you like to put something on there? Yeah. Very good. Uh, I'll let you unbox this. Okay. And uh, we've got 60 seconds. Excellent. Starting now. This is plastic. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mel Geek. Oh, nice. Allow me to help oh, you. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Fair face. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, listen. Ooh, it's very stocky. Very nice. No photo. <laughs> Alt. Not for resale. Logo. Oh, I love this. Oh. Wow. Thank you, Mel Geek. Uh, I'm going to put this on my editing desk immediately if Lady Factory doesn't beat me to it. What else have we got in there? Uh, we have a key remover and a charging cable, a purple charging cable. Look at that. God, I love it. It's even prettier now without the tape on. Oh, oh, we're well out of time, but I just want to keep playing with this. That was very cool. Love it. Oh, wow. Okay. Put that there on Zap64. Now, uh, I should mention, speaking of Zap64, here is the first episode uh, of my first issue as editor. Um, apologies for the terrifying nature of <laughs> this uh, incredible Oliver Frey artwork there. Um, but yes, you can tell it's me because it says a new idiot at the helm. <laughs> Uh, check it out. I'll put the link in the description uh, or you can go to fusionretrobooks.com to subscribe. And my goal with this is making it as much like the original Zap as possible. So that's kind of an AI me. Um, it's not all about me, but there I am again. And there I am. No, sorry. But you'll see there is a ton more Rockford in this one. 
So um, almost every page, because Rockford was one of the features that I loved the most. Andrew Fisher, who's one of our patrons as well, and one of the writers of Zap. For example, he mentioned here that he is battling a gallbladder problem. Oh. Uh, we, we do hope you get better soon, but Rockford did have this to say. The gall of that man. Um, but Andrew approved of that joke. But yeah, check it out. We've got even more reviews than ever before uh, and all the fun that you remember. Right, enough self-promotion. That's uh, enough. I don't get anything if you subscribe. But anyway, next unboxing. Yes. Beautiful. Stop. Stopwatch. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He wants everything. This is from Big Bad Toy Store. They sent it to us very kindly because I paid for them for <laughs> with my credit card. That was very kind of them. Yes. And it is a Comlink watch. I've wanted one of these my whole life, but Lady Factor is opening it for me. You took all the tape off of the fun. It's fine. You may. Uh, I think I... I probably had one as a kid. It was, they definitely had them um, oh. for sale oh. back then. <laughs> Communicator oh. watch. This is part of a kit, no pun intended, oh. of other things like number plates. There's one there. Um, and a few other, I, f I forget now what comes in it, but apparently I'm receiving the bits one bit at a time. Look at the details on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you ruined David. Look at that. Got a stopwatch there. And that stopwatch tells us that we've run out of time for this unboxing. Can I, I there is a disclaimer. But that here. means nothing. There's a disclaimer here that says, this is a prop replica with basic watch functions, not a real comm link. You wait till I finish with it. I've got Kit and Kit Tesla parked outside, ready to have some fun. Michael Knight, a lone crusader in a dangerous world. A world of retro recipes. The high register is not his forte. I'm going to still get a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, update uh, on the kit video I did. I got a copyright match for Axel F at the end. Ooh. I used a fantastic mashup that someone had done. And mashups are acceptable under fair use law. But I still got a copyright action. Do you know who it was from? Crazy Frog. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So uh, I've had to mute the end of that video, um, unfortunately. But I think we've got all the good stuff out of the way by that point. So, awesome. I will treasure these boxes with my life. Next. And finally, open first. Get my cutty thing, which is just under my Philips Bodazap pager. Sorry. That was featured in my clear phrase video. It was indeed. Oh, whoops, sorry, Omnibot. Shall we? Okay. There you go. Should tell them both. Go. <laughs> Double unboxing. I'm really excited for this. I cannot tell you how excited. Oh, thank you, SD card. Is this a gift that was so kindly sent to you because you paid for it? No, this is actually a genuine oh. donation. Oh. Ooh. Okay, hold on to this RAM expansion. Oh my gosh. Ow. Karma. Hit myself. Oh. I know there's a whole load of other stuff. Ooh, hoo, hoo. look at this. Okay, oh boy. So when I first saw the design of this thing, I wanted it so badly. There Is will... it Knight Rider? <laughs> mm, surprisingly, no. There will be a full video coming up where we explore everything it can do. But for now, we're just going to take a look at this. This is the Phoenix Retro Systems F256K. In goes the RAM. Look at the design of this. I love the keyboard. I love the yellow. What color is this? I love these fins. I love this dark purple here. I like this dark brown. That's black. <laughs> this is brown. This is a greenish brown. And that pink there. That's yeah, light purple. And that light purple there. Well, I did that later. Look at this. Here it is, the Phoenix. That's cool. So we've got stereo left and right out. Uh, that looks like, that could be headphones. That looks like cereal. That is graphics. That's microphone. Could be mic. Yeah wherever he is. Um, disk drive, which is here. So it should have a matching port, which it does. Or USB powered, perhaps. 
uh, keyboard mouse kind of thing, USB, possibly alternate power, reset and power. There you go, I don't need to make a video about it now. <laughs> and joysticks and SD card, probably with the operating system on so it. So what are you going to use this for? I don't know. I actually don't know a lot about what it can do other than it is a modern 8 slash 16 bit computer, as is the trend now with things like the chicken lips, uh, sorry, the Commander X16. Oh, because. Uh, and a few other ones, obviously the Mega 65, uh, another obvious example. Beautiful. Dip switches. What just, you call me? just like me. It's a little bisky drive. 3D printed? I think it's resin print, but it is 3D printed. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Look at this. Thank you so much for sending that to us. A uh, very kind donation. And I will, I promise I will explore it once I've got a few more <laughs> the very overdue videos. Uh, out of the Retro Recipes pipeline. We have a very purple themed table today. This is like a perfect example for if someone didn't see the episodes where we've talked about the different sounds that keyboards make. So there's, and then there's this one. I'm hitting it the same. Hi. <laughs> so I, I love all of it. We're very lucky here. Um, that is, it's time for us. God. <laughs> Would you like to look up my nose? It's time for us to say goodbye uh, and move on to... Home brews. Yeah, that's home brews. Oh, didn't win this time. Anyway, uh, from not winning to winning music. This is by Intercosmos, indeed, uh, otherwise known as Marcel, Marcel Cooper. Cooper. Uh, he is one of the viewers of the show and um, has helped me out with some projects recently. So this section of Homebrew is going to be accompanied by his music. Excellent. Would you like a treat? These are the ones that get caught in our teeth, yeah, <laughs> like <they do>. taffy. <laughs> she said that music tastes delicious. Um, anyway, <gasps> yeah, this is Night Rider Kit and the Semi by Henk Vulvudl Five. Must be Dutch. Uh, could be. Um, we'll put the link in the description as always, but I believe it's 3D rendered on Stud.io Studio. Mm. But still, look at this. See, the Night Rider historians didn't have to procure the real thing, they could have just built it out of Lego. Silly. Well, uh, bricks. Um, look at the lights. Yeah. It's got all the blinky light computers at the back there. It's starting to wonder if it's real now. <laughs> There's Devon and Bonnie and Michael and RC having a conflab over a cup of coffee. Just look at the details. Even this ball, this silver ball, that was a uh, stainless steel drinks caddy. Oh, you yeah. take the half, half of the top off uh, and had all the glasses inside from the Universal Studios prop store. But yeah, great work, Hank Villavidal. Hank. Thank you, Hank. Five, Hank. Next up, look at this. I'm so looking. What's happening here, do you think? It looks like a regular Commodore 64. From the Mandalorian. From the Mandalorian. And then that piece on top, I know, is it a repair? Uh, almost. So I actually remember these pieces from childhood somehow. My, my dad used to always really? have that kind of I had a long plinth of that, but Mike Danny looked right. I'm a big fan of your channel. This project is my VC64 Mini to Maxi Conversion built with wood trim and parts from local hardware store. Would you believe it? And the cheapest Amazon keyboard I could find. I even had to color match the paint to my C64 Mini. Inside, I made keyboard and PCB mounts from my daughter's Legos. I also discovered popsicle sticks are the same size as the bread bin logo badge. Incredible. Uh, and there is all the Lego in place, holding everything up. And finally, Le Pièce de la Résistance top cover. There it is, a wooden, <laughs> a wooden C64 Maxi, um, the PCB inside, of course. Now I can see the wood trim, like for um, like baseboards and stuff. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Dado rails. What? Not to be confused with Dido, the singer. Dado rails is what we call, Ooh. what do you call them, trellises or? Cornices or 
Crown Molding? Crown Molding. That's wood trims. For a company that uh, got rid of the monarchy, uh, let's call it Crown Molding. <laughs> Um, on that note, I probably should, I, should, I should keep my head down and zip forward to, would you like a nice, tasty, delicious bowl of nostalgia flakes, or do you hate me now for criticising the way the Americans treated the British monarchy and named uh, Dado Rail after it instead? Mmm! <laughs> Here are those nostalgia flakes. Uh, getting myself in hot water, or maybe hot milk. Mm. I think it's time to take a nice trip to the gallery. Let's do that right now. Looks a bit like me, is it me? That's not No, me. it's Armand. With his Amiga 1200 and his Amiga calendar in the year 1994. Here is Clint David. He's upgrading to a C64. From his Atari. Oh, apparently. Yeah. Who's this handsome chap? It's Dag Eric. Now, he criticized his own wallpaper, but I need him to know that I love it. It They just don't make it like that anymore. Definitely put up in the 70s. Yes. What's going on here? His dad's school in Sweden. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. So same guy, uh, Scandis CPM computer, which I think was Scandinavian. Uh, Norway and Denmark as well. Someone else has upgraded their Commodore 64 to a 128. With amazing wallpaper. And an Atari 800 in the corner there. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> ah, an Amiga 500 deluxe paint artist. Weren't we all? Modern day photo there. Mm -hmm. you can tell by the 3D printed hard disk. <laughs> And this guy, Marlo, uh, otherwise known as Marlo, <laughs> playing on Turbo Silver, making some 3D renders. Very cool. Yeah. Well, there's a 3D render now. Mmm, with the dog. With the dongo. Puppy frag, too. The one and only. <sighs> well, speaking of. One and only. One and only. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me there. Tim Cook, one of our longtime patrons, and you've seen Not him. to be confused with Apple's Tim Cook. I don't think it's him, no. Uh, he was inspired by, or reminded of, uh, what he'd done by my recreating my bedroom setup. And he's done the same thing here. So he's got there his childhood ZX81. I was about to say. This is a yellow Sony Sports Walkman. I think we all had that one. I know you... Well, look, there's one up on that shelf, yeah. the top shelf. <gasps> I should turn this way. And there's one on my childhood <laughs> yes, desk okay. over there. Um, he's saved up for three weeks at working at a petrol station. <laughs> or a gas station for us Americans. Yes. The stool down there is his original childhood one. Oh my gosh. Which is probably why it's not as smart as everything else. <laughs> and here, the How It Works books uh, that he he would collect the magazines and put them in those binders. And they were then repurposed as a TV stand. And this issue of Sinclair programs. Wow. His game Snake was published in there. Wow. Uh, it was called Crap. Cramp. Sorry, it wasn't Cramp. It wasn't. It's very good. Capital Radio 194. It's before they were at 95.8 FM. So this is definitely British. And definitely old. Okay. And then he went crazy over lockdown. Oh my and built God. A, <laughs> built all this as well. What do you mean he. Hello? Hello? I know. And he has the. Um... The piece of art that we did have up there, <laughs> but it's now you're looking at it here. Oh, it is. It's right there. You can't see it. It's behind camera. the camera. This is one of the things you can download as a patron. Is is this piece of art that I created of all some of my favourite logos? And look at all this other stuff. He's got an Atari 400, a SNES. We shared a lot of the same stuff growing up. There's that Walkman. Another one. Yeah. I think I actually had that same one as well. What is that? It's a Walkman. Oh. It's off camera and down on the shelf there. But I think it's the same Sony one. But I love it. And an Atari 800. And an Amiga 5. Are you me, Tim? <laughs> Very cool. Now, a lot of you guys have kindly sent in pictures of this over the past 6 to 12 months, uh, including Dan, Dan Goswick. Um, Dan said he saw it and he just had to buy it. Because, of course. Have you ever had Golden Graham cereal? Golden. Golden Graham cereal. I've had Golden Grahams. Have you? <laughs> yeah. In America, it's Golden Grahams. 
How are you pronouncing that? Grams. The same way we pronounce. Yeah, we can't complain being, being British and saying <laughs> the H. Yeah, it's got a bloody H in it. So it's Grams, <laughs> apparently. Um, but look at the back. All the AC stuff here: break dancing, guitar, parachute pants. But I do have to just point out, General Mills. Um, you might want to get a copywriter. Uh, to check the grammar. Oh, the apostrophe. Yeah, that apostrophe doesn't go there. Sorry. Uh, sorry to be that guy. <laughs> There's one down there too. It belongs to the 80s. The yeah. 80s is. Ah, now finally, would you like some Knight Rider anime? I know it's what you've been looking for. This is by Gil Gayon and it is incredible. Did the pedal always have that? Yeah. Oh. Only in the opening credits and occasional uh, cut insert scenes. Super pursuit mode kit. I have to remember to be American. Because he wouldn't use this if he's in kit. Kit, I need you, buddy. Now Kit's coming to get him. I know he's always talking to himself. Junior Fractic, I need you, buddy. Yeah, I need you. Yeah. This music is very clever. It feels like Knight Rider, but it's not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do like the anime David Hasselhoff. That's a cool interpretation of him. Yeah. See, I knew he had to come get him with the comm link. <laughs> Amazing work, Gil Gayon. That's uh, cool. Thank you for closing out the show with that. And with... Oh, she's, she's into you today. I'm her mama. She loves you. <clears throat> From anime to animal. <laughs> Very good. And that is it for the retro show. Five doyas or something else. Um, <laughs> as always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below and... Cheerio. Cheerio.